Hi everyone, my name is John, and today I wanted to talk about how I made my own custom keyboard layout and how you can make your own. I'd like to preface this by saying that I use Windows, so I have no clue how to do this with Linux or Mac. Also, I'm not really particularly technologically gifted, so don't come to me for help if you get stuck. A lot of people use just the built-in Windows keyboard layout creator, but I found this pretty clunky and I wanted something a little bit more flexible, so I use AutoHotKey. You can just go to uh, autohotkey.com and then download the current version. I don't want to go into too much detail as to how to install it because it's pretty simple. You just gotta click a few buttons that it tells you to, but once you do, it's incredibly easy to make your own layout. All you need to do is right click and click new auto hotkey script. You can name it whatever you want. And then you can use pretty much any text editing software to make it. I use notepad because it's just that simple and it's not necessary to use anything more robust. From here, it's as simple as remapping each key. So for example, if I want to make it so when I press the Q key, W appears, I would press asterisk, Q, colon, colon, and then W. It's also incredibly easy to toggle your different layouts with this. So for example, if I wanted to make it so F7 toggled this layout, I would do F7, colon, suspend. So now when I press F7, it'll turn on and off. From here, it's as easy as saving the program and then running it. So I've saved it with Control S. I double click it to run it. And now I'm pressing Q, but W is appearing. I used the same process to design my one-handed layout, Oetta, with a couple other tricks thrown in. I've also attached a link to the auto hotkey documentation in the description so you can learn more about it there. Another helpful thing you can do is make it simple to type accents for other languages. This is pretty much the extent of my auto hotkey knowledge, but I haven't even scratched the surface of what you can do with it. I've left a link to my scripts that I use for Oetta, as well as the one for Spanish typing if you're interested. I'd highly recommend looking more at the documentation for auto hotkey if you'd like to learn more, but I hope this at least helps you get started if you're looking to do something like this. Thanks for watching.